Hey everyone, this is Will, and in this video, we're gonna take a look at RTP MIDI settings using Oracle for X-Series. Now, the first thing I wanna mention is we have a lot of very specific in-depth tutorials showing you how to set up really complex RTP MIDI uh, setups for a connected stage, um, adding a, a Mio XM to a Play Audio 12 via Ethernet, for example, creating a satellite setup to where you can create a connected stage experience with uh, satellite systems everywhere across the stage. Uh, and we even have a in-depth troubleshooting video for RTP MIDI. So that's not what this video is gonna be. It's gonna be a quick overview of what's available in the RTP MIDI settings page in Oracle for X series. Now, the first thing I wanna show you in Oracle for X series is this which is absolutely nothing. And it seems like a weird place to start, but I wanna show you on my particular interface that I have here, my Mio XM, all I have connected right now is power. So the way I wanna connect this to my computer is use this ethernet cable here. I'm gonna connect it to the front panel of the interface. Um, and then what this is gonna do, uh, the other end of this is connected to my computer in this studio setup, it's hard to show you that connection. But then what you're gonna see over in Oracle for X series is this interface pop up. Now this is one of my favorite features of RTP MIDI that we don't talk about a whole lot, on these interfaces is the ability to control them and configure them over ethernet uh, without having to be right next to them. So you can see if we go back to Oracle for X series, I'll click this device information button. You could see it says connected with RTP. That simply just means I'm connected with Ethernet. I'm not connected via USB and I have to be close to it. I'm connected via Ethernet. And this is super helpful, particularly in a connected stage environment or a uh, install situation where maybe this is in a rack backstage and you're at front of house. If you happen to be on the same network, if you have a network switch that let's say your laptop can plug into uh, that the interface is also on, then you can remotely configure uh, and control your device via that ethernet cable. One of my favorite features is I could be at front of house and my interface could be backstage. And if I need to repower that uh, or power cycle the interface, I could click reboot device. That's gonna turn off the interface back at uh, the uh, stage and at front of house, I can stay exactly where I am without having to walk, which is great. So now with that, uh, our uh, Mio XM is connected to our computer via Ethernet. Let's go to that RTP MIDI uh, page and I'll show you again some basic settings and some basic things we can do there. So I'll click into RTP Network MIDI. Um, the first thing I want to show you is um, we can set a static IP address for our interface. Now by default, I plug my interface in, it's going to use DHCP to automatically assign a IP address to, to match the network that you're currently on so that it works. But let's say you need to add your Mio XM to an existing network. Uh, maybe there's a VLAN and so you have some IP addresses that are kind of sanctioned off that are just for live performance, for instance, at a venue or an install situation. In that scenario, you could go to IP settings here, set a static and automatically um, uh, dial in whatever you need, manually type in your IP, your subnet, your gateway and hit save, which is nice. So that's a great feature. Now, not everyone uses that. Most of us use DHCP, but that is available to us. Next, we have the ability to create uh, RTP MIDI sessions, either as a responder or an initiator. And depending on your particular interface, depends on how many RTP ports you have. So I have 12 particular RTP uh, connections I can create, and those are discrete connections from my Mio XM to uh, up to 12 different computers, 12 different other Mio XMs, Mio XLs, Play Audio 12s, whatever it is, uh, that allow me to pass MIDI back and forth over a single ethernet cable or across a network if I'm connected to a network switch. So again, in this particular setup, I can uh, initiate or uh, respond to uh, MIDI connections and set this up in a way that once I plug my interface in, plug in that ethernet cable, it automatically connects to another computer or another interface, which is great. And again, as a reminder, we have more in-depth tutorials on dealing with RTP MIDI with particular eye connectivity interfaces, as well as even troubleshooting those. So if you have any questions about that, first check out the other and previous videos linked in the description of this video. And if those don't help, then make sure to reach out to eye connectivity support. And as always, they'll be more than happy to help uh, answer your questions or even help you with your particular setup. And you can find information on how to reach them and connect with them in the description of this video. Thanks so much for watching everyone, and we'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye.